Well, there's lots going on in the world of entertainment today. It's time for your pop talk and celebrity journalist Shannon Lanier, the co-host of Arise Entertainment 360, joins us with the morning scoop. So welcome. Thanks for being here. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah, we're going to start off with a little bit of sad yeah. news, though. Yes. Uh, Harlem's DJ Easy Rock uh, from the It Takes Two fame, he mm -hmm. actually passed away 60 or 46, rather. Yeah, right? he's only 46 yeah. years yeah. old, so they're still trying to figure out what exactly happened to him. Yeah. But, you know, the good thing is that a lot of people have been shouting him out on Twitter, on social mm -hmm. media, saying, rest in power, as, as you will, Rob oh. Bass, his partner in crime, sent that out. And But, you know, he will ever, forever be remembered for, it takes two to make a thing go right. Oh, no. Well, let, 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 let's play a little bit. Uh oh, you, you gotta play it. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, they did it better than I did. <laughs> no. You know what, actually, this is one of the top, what, 50 um, hip-hop hits of all time. Of all time. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah, but they 46 have a... years old. Something, yeah. yeah. What do we know? Do we know anything yet? No, they're still trying to investigate what actually happened, what was mm -hmm. the, led to his actual passing. So hopefully we'll know more this afternoon. It's so sad. Yeah, it is. Well, this story just isn't going away anytime no. soon. Now we have more of the audio released of L.A. Clippers owner Don Sterling and his former girlfriend. Mm -hmm. What's the latest? So the latest is that everybody is outraged by this whole situation. Mm -hmm. So the owner of the Clippers went on this rant saying to his girlfriend, Friend v that she shouldn't be hanging out and bringing black guys to the game. She shouldn't be on Instagram pic having pictures with black guys. She was with Magic was, Johnson. I know, but for, for him friends. and him and Magic used to be friends. Magic talked about it this weekend saying he knew him personally. He couldn't believe that he made this statement. Magic is even saying he will never go to a game again as long as he is, he is the owner of Some the team. Some of the Clippers yeah. said yeah. they didn't want to go to any games I know. ever again. You know, they have to work at the same time. You know, yeah. they have to work. But they did put on a silent protest. They wore the warm-up jerseys as they came out for the game. Here's a picture of it right now. They're showing the yeah, video. Inside and out. they threw, yeah. it, threw them on the ground with the warm-up jerseys and had they didn't want their logo showing, so they wore their shirts mm. inside out to have silent protests about the whole situation. So we actually have some audio that we want you to hear. The girlfriend mm. asked who we believe to be Sterling. Doesn't he know that he has a whole team that's black that plays for him? So let's listen to the responses that they have. I support them and give them food and clothes and cars and houses. Who gives it to them? Does someone else give it to them? Do I know what I, that I have? Who makes the game? Do I make the game or do they make the game? In the year 2014, you wouldn't think Unlock. that you would hear something like that. Unbelievable. Yeah, everybody is speaking out. Even the President Obama is mm. speaking out. Saying yeah. That this is ridiculous. He says, when ignorant people want to advertise they're ignorant, let Just them let speak. Just let them go. That's yep. all. They will convict themselves. So, But it's still unfortunate that this has to happen at this day and age. Yeah. It, but the true colors have shown. Well, I have a feeling that we'll be hearing more about this one as the week goes yes. on. Yes, people now, want him to sell the team. I know. But well, he said in the past he won't do it. No, I know. Well, let's so. move on. Let's okay. talk about Columbus Short, one of my favorite oh, shows, my Scandal. Gosh. He right? got fired. Can What's you, the deal here? He's got his own scandal going on. Yeah. You know, I think he became too much of a high risk for the whole show because of his personal issues that he's going through. He's got two battery cases he's up against, a, a guy he beat up in West Hollywood for talking about his wife. But then he's also accused of battering his wife. Oh. She's re we filed for restraining order. She's filed for divorce. She wants custody of their two-year-old daughter. So it looks very messy in his personal life. And I think that's the way the finale ended there was a gun to his head we didn't know if he was gonna die if he's gonna live wow. i think they were trying to wait to see how his personal life panned out say so, okay if it goes good then he can come back to the show if it doesn't he's a liability though. yeah he is yeah. a liability i mean really at this point yeah. you know with yeah all of these charges against yeah. him. We can't so. have all these scandals on the show and, and off, off the, the show. show. Right. So, yeah. so he will not be returning for the fourth season. He just confirmed that news. So, so some very exciting news from the AARP. Yeah. <laughs> George Clooney, who, by the yeah, way, is, uh, is, is he engaged? <laughs> is it official? He is officially engaged. Two sources have said to People Magazine that he is engaged to Amal. She's a big-time lawyer. He's been dating her for a little bit less than a year, and everybody's shocked because there's only a 16-year difference. Right? Usually only. there's like a 25-year difference between him and the ladies they're he likes to, to hang John's out with. Right? <laughs> I know. He likes the young ladies like John. Don't get him in trouble. My dad was 18 years older than my mom. And yeah. look, yeah. look how it all worked yeah. out. It did. Now, so she's a big, uh, powerful attorney. Who does yeah. the prenup? I mean, oh, yeah. yeah I, I hope it's not her because she's going to collect regardless if there's a prenup or not. Right, she's right. going to make sure she writes in some loopholes. Like, either way, I get all the money. But no, uh, <laughs> hopefully it won't come to that. No. And they'll be married for many years to come. But, yeah, but you okay. know what? I, I, everybody's talking about, oh, Stacey Keebler, this. Stacey yeah. Keebler is not sweating it. She's no. pregnant. She's no. happy. She's, she's moved getting on. married. And maybe that was the reason why he decided, hey, 
might. It might be Maybe time. Maybe he should as well. That's so right. Either way, they're happy she's been sporting the rock out. He's been seen going around town introducing her to his BFF. So Ooh, apparently okay. she's got the approval of his friends. So I'm excited for him. Happy you know. for him. Yes. Yeah. He yeah. said he would never, ever, ever do it again. But never say never. never That's say never. right. Shut and we're reading out. some of your posts about that story coming up later in the show. So if you have a comment about that, Go ahead and tweet yes, us. Yes, you want definitely. to hear about it. Definitely. All right. All right. Shanna Lanier from Horizon Entertainment 360. Thank you for joining us. You Always good it. to have you here. <laughs>